All right, uh, gave another top 25 team a, a tough battle, heading into another uh, big home game. Your thoughts? You know, it doesn't get any easier. You're playing the second place team in the league and, and uh, Frank has done such a good job with them. Um, you know, very veteran team, only uh, really one freshman in the, star, in the playing group. And he's the only one that, that is an underclassman. Everybody else is a junior and senior. So they've really been carried by their juniors and seniors. Um, you know, great opportunity for us to play again, another high quality opponent in our league that's having a great year. And we have to, we have to bounce back. We have to put Wednesday night behind us, late, late Wednesday night, and now uh, early Saturday afternoon. Um, but we have to, you know, continue to play with that same energy and that same uh, focus that we had the other night against a very, very good Tulsa team. Tulsa, they like to run that zone defense. The last time you guys really saw a, a good zone defense was a few games ago, and you did really well. Just your, your thoughts yeah. on the keys? Yeah, and... you know, it's a, it's a little bit different, but a lot of the same things. You know, our, our offense is still predicated on getting paint touches. You have to get the ball in the paint for us, either post-ups, flashes, dribble drives. Uh, and then play off of that. We have to do a better job uh, on the offensive glass. I thought our effort against Houston was really good with nine of them, but we have to finish those plays. Either if you're swarmed in there, kick it out, or if you get it around the basket on that offensive rebound, you know, put it back in for two points. Uh, you, you can't have nine offensive rebounds and only two second chance points. You have to be more efficient in that area for us because we have been so so efficient in that area the three previous games the Memphis game the Tulane game and the, and the Central Florida game so that's going to be a big key for us as well um, and getting out in transition and playing with a, a little more pace uh, than we played with the other night is a key for us as well. Saturday's going to be a blackout game you've got great home crowds to give you a big boost how much, how important is that to get another one for a game that starts at noon earlier? Yeah, yeah it, it, it is. And, and uh, you know, our fans have been great. That, that the, the, the energy in that arena throughout the game, but in particular those last five minutes was really good. Um, you know, I, and I hate that to ask. I made them stay up late on Wednesday and now I'm asking them to get up early on Saturday. Uh, but everybody knows what a difference, you know, uh, uh, a very motivated home crowd can can be for your team. So we're hoping to have the same thing. And with the blackout, add a little fun to it as well. Martin's Igbanu, he's averaging like 22 points over the last seven games, been playing out of his mind. What kind of challenges do you see in him on film? Big challenges, because he does three things really well. He, he scores around the basket in a variety of post moves. Uh, he may be the best post player at drawing fouls. 13 fouls drawn the other night against East Carolina. So it's not only defending them, but it's defending them without fouling and getting in foul trouble. And then he's a, you know, a tremendous offensive rebounder as well, so you got to keep him off the glass. You know, a, a senior that has uh, really, really elevated his game during his final year, and he's playing his best basketball of his career right now. It's interesting. You know, he's coming off the bench. He doesn't even start for him. Uh, and he gives him a, a, a huge lift. And that's, you know, he's going to play starter minutes, so we have to do a great job preparing. It won't be one guy. When you, whenever you face a dynamic scorer in the low post, it's, it's a team coverage, and we're going to have to do a great job in every aspect of our post defense. They don't make a lot of three-pointers um, per game. I think it's like five they're averaging per game, which is kind of different in college basketball. Uh, but they still have some capable shot makers. And, and when they make them, that's, you know, they've made more uh, in the eight wins that they've had in league play. And I think that's been the big difference uh, with Horn and, and, and Joyner, a fourth year junior, and then, uh, you know, another junior out there with great experience. Those guys can really make shots. Corita is playing his best basketball uh, of the season the last three or four games as well. So, they definitely have guys that can make shots, uh, but they're inside out. And so you got to do a good job in, in terms of covering the inside game. And then the one thing that they've really done a great job of this year is they have some slashers and drivers that can really attack the basket. And that opens up a lot of different areas for their offense. And um, an update on Zach, how his knee's coming along? You know, Zach had a, a pretty good workout this morning. You know, we tested him a little bit 
uh, with a little more activity this morning. I think he'll be a game time decision in terms of how he feels. He's going to go through our practice today and and then you reevaluate him af after that. Again, we're in a position we're not we're not going to push him. It's going to be up to Zach and, and Greg, our trainer, and the doctors for the final say in that. Quincy's been giving you a good scoring burst the last few games. What have you been seeing out of him? He's much more aggressive, you know, in terms of you know, of playing within the scoring area and reading what the defense gives him. Um, you know, a lot of extra time over the last f probably five or six weeks uh, has been spent in the gym working on his shooting, working on his free throws. Um, and so I think anytime you spend that, that amount of time, it's an investment in yourself and you're just more confident. And so I think he's shooting the ball with more confidence right now. Um, he's seeing the, the, the court better, so now he's reading where those shots are coming in. And we're moving the ball better. And so he's been uh, the recipient of a lot of extra passes. Um, you know, at, there was times where he had to dominate the ball or David had to dominate the ball. We're moving the ball and sharing the ball better. And those guys are getting more shots because of it.